Hey there tech enthusiast welcome back to Ayas Tech today we are diving deep into one of the fundamental concepts in Angular 18 understanding the key differences between promises and observables this knowledge is crucial whether you are building modern web applications handling real time data or managing complex asynchronous operations by the end of this tutorial you will have a solid understanding of when and how to use each pattern effectively let's start by understanding how promises work in modern angular applications promises are perfect for handling single one time asynchronous operations to demonstrate that i will quickly generate a service in my existing simple angular 18 project here i will run the code ng generate service with the name user press enter the service has been generated now here first of all i will create an interface user with the properties id name username email now in the constructor of this service i will inject the http client but if you are adding the http client for the first time in your angular project then you will have you will have to go to the app.config and you have to provide the http client in this way and you have to add the import statement for the provide http clients once that is done you are ready to use it okay once we have the service injected in our component our service we will define another function async get user data and it will be getting the id of type number and it will return a promise of type user interface that we defined above okay now within this function we will write our logic so first of all the modern way to convert observable to the promise is using the first value from function from the rxjs so let's try it. to use that first value from make sure to import this function from the rxjs like this and call it now we need to pass it an observable so observable will be returned from the get method of the http client so let's do that this dot http dot get and we will add the generic type user that will tell it that we will be getting the response of this type and then we need to call it and here we will use the path of our endpoint so this is the endpoint that i am using in this example you can use any other endpoint here we have passed the id that we got from the parameter okay now instead of returning this i will save the response of this in a user variable i use the await because first value from will give me the promise it will convert the observable that was returned from the get function now i will wrap this in try catch statement like this in the try i will paste this code and if everything is correct then i will simply return the user that we got from that but if there was an error then we will first show the error in the console log and secondly we will throw the error in this way throw new error and you can pass anything within that error instance so let's quickly use it and then we will move on to the next topic so in the app dot component dot ts i need to inject this user service in this way i defined a constructor and imported the user service and injected it in this way now here uh, i need to create a function async get user data you can name it anything else if you want to and here i will access the get user data function from the user service that we just defined and we have to pass the id that is one in this case it can be any other id okay here i have added the async and i used the await because we want to resolve the promise okay and here i will create a user property here and the type would be user currently it is not available because we did not export the interface you can export it as well if you want to like this and now you can import this user now once we have that we can assign the response of this function call to this user property and i want to use the json pipe so for that i will use the common module here and let me remove everything from this html file and here i will print the user object that we got okay now reload it i did not get the data yet okay so let's see what's wrong here the reason is that we did not call this function yet so let's do that here i called the get user data and save it you can see that data is now printed in the browser now let's quickly look at the key points 
of what we have done so far so these modern promises use async await for cleaner syntax they handle a single value resolution they utilize first value function instead of the deprecated to promise function earlier if you uh, you are aware we used to use this approach let me show you to promise but it is now deprecated so this is the latest way to convert it into the promise so they include proper typescript types for better type safety now let's move on to the modern observables in angular 18 we will explore the observables which are more powerful for handling streams of data and real-time updates okay now i will create another service with the name user activity okay press enter the service has been generated now very first thing is that i will inject the http client in it now i need to create a function get user activity and on the top i will add the interface user activity here the response would be observable this time make sure to import the observable class from rxjs and the type would be user activity interface that we will define now okay type string timestamp date okay now within this i will write my logic i will simply return the response of this dot http dot get user activity and we will call it here we will have to pass the path of our endpoint uh, we should not use the async here because this time we are using observable okay now here i need to pass uh, an endpoint i currently don't have any uh, my own endpoint that uh, represent this shape so i will just change the type to post okay this is how it will look like so now here i will use the pipe function on it and within that pipe function i will call the retry function okay so retry should be imported from the rxjs and within the retry i will pass an object and here we will pass the count 3 and delay 1000 okay and here i will use map function on it uh, i will use the comma because we are using pipe in the pipe we will pass multiple pipes second pipe would be map and make sure to import the map from rxjs like this and now within the map i will pass a callback function so i can name it post and you can now modify the response like this post dot uh, another property here you can say timestamp new date here i have added the timestamp here as well okay now at the end i need to add another operator that is catch error make sure to import this operator from the rxjs like this and call that function and pass it a callback function and we will be getting the error now you can simply console the error like this and you can return throw error function from the rxjs like this and here you will pass a callback function and this callback function will be returning the new instance of error class and here you can add your own customized error message okay now if we use this in the app dot component for that we need to inject this service like this user activity service make sure to import it okay now we need to call the function you can call it anywhere like this i have defined the user activity here and for now use any type here and we don't have async here or we don't have promise here this time so i will use the subscribe here okay and once we get the data actually let's move it inside this function and we will pass the received data to this user activity variable okay now go to the app.component.html add the heading user activity and here i have printed the json okay now save it and so the data is now visible and the purpose of retry is that if something is failed it will keep retrying it will keep hitting the same endpoint until it get the correct response or if the number of retries hit the limit so this is the limit that you will specify here i'm going to make it incorrect for now here i will corrupt the url that doesn't exist save it in the inspect element let me show you what's happening. reload it and you can see it is failed and it is keep trying it will keep trying several times and uh, once it hit the limit it will stop retrying so this is very powerful sometime your api does not respond correctly or maybe your server was crashed temporarily and you want to retry so you don't have to write your own uh, complex logic you just have to implement this and it will take care of everything it 
take care of the delay and the number of maximum retries. You can increase it like 10 and you will see that it will keep trying for more than three retries. Okay, so this is very powerful. Modern observable features include type safe error handling with throw error that we just saw. It provides advanced retry configuration. It provides proper type definition throughout the chain and it provides the functional transformation using the pipe operators. All right, I think that's all I wanted to show you in this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to IOSTEC for more Angular tutorials. Share your question in the comments below and happy coding.